Hello, welcome. In this video, as you can see right here, we have a picture of a wheel and this graph that looks like a sine and cosine function, a sinusoidal function, that's obviously connected to this wheel somehow. So why don't you take a minute, read the problem, and pause the video, give it a shot, and then press play, and we'll solve it together. All right, so they tell us right away that in this graph, it represents the height above the ground h in inches, so here's the height of a point on a triathlete's bike wheel during a training ride in terms of time t seconds. Okay, so what, what does that mean? Well, let me switch over to a different pen here. Let's say this is the point, right? As the wheel spins, this point starts, look at just, just the height of the point. It starts and it goes until it reaches the very bottom. Now that little half rotation right here is what you're seeing in the graph from here to here, right? And then as the wheel turns again, this point continues to turn and now it's rising back up to the very top. And that's exactly what we're seeing in this part from bottom to top. And then it just repeats that cycle, it spins around. And in this case, right, it took two thirds of a second to complete one cycle of this cosine wave, this is a cosine wave, or one rotation of the wheel. And what I'm identifying right there is the period of the graph. The period, period is two thirds of a second. And when you describe what it represents in this context, you could say this describes one rotation of the wheel, or the time, right? This is the time it takes for the wheel to complete one rotation, something like that, to complete one rotation. Or you can say the time it takes for this point to spin once around the wheel and return back to its original height. Usually the question for a period is to look at some peak to peak or some trough to trough here. And uh, that will help you identify the period length. This is two thirds of a second. And just as this is two thirds of a second. And that's the basic idea of this problem. All right, I hope that helped.